Carmen was like my Big Bang moment in the theater. The music is absolutely inspired, but also there's this kind of edge from the very beginning, and that slowly takes over throughout the course of the opera. And to see that type of drama and theater in the hands of a real craftsman like Bizet is always inspiring. Carmen is essentially the story of the title character who doesn't change one bit from the beginning of the story till the end, whereas Jose is eternally undergoing transformation. <laughs> Carmen gives a real dilemma sometimes to the listener because you almost find yourself rooting for the demise of Jose because the worse it goes for him, somehow the more beautiful the music becomes. What I love about Robert Carson's approach to this opera is that opera at its best can be an entirely immersive experience. That it's not meant for a public to sit back and watch these performers on stage doing something. No, they're part of the drama. And this incredible coup de théâtre in the fourth act is basically a murder happening on stage. And at the same time, thousands of people in an arena are cheering. And what Robert Carson does so well in this production is bringing 400 members of the Dutch public onto the stage to kind of complete this circle between performer and audience. And we are all in some ways participating in both the glory and the tragedy of this opera. Bizet created one of the absolutely most original revolutionary, subversive pieces of theater, and that he died as a young man thinking that it was a failure, it breaks my heart, but it's also a reminder to us that this is an art form that has always been owned by young people, and Carmen is an amazing reminder that actually this art form is alive and well today and will educate and nurture generations to come. <laughs>